Okay, so we made it back to Albrook. I just, I'll probably edit the footage just so that you don't see me wasting a couple minutes walking all the way back here. In that time, I did manage to learn Remedy with Terra using the Seraphim Esper, so I've got her equipped with Shout at the moment. And Locke learned Muddle and Imp, and I don't think we really need Float, so I switched him back to Siren for the time being. Alright, let's enter Albrook. Let's head to the port area. Well, before we do that, let's check out the shops. Don't really need anything from the item shop, really. Right, they did thrash the troopers there. Oh, that's just the end. Don't need to go in there. I think I am going to buy another pair of earrings. That way I have two sets of two. two of those amulets. I don't think I need that many of them. And that's it. So let's head to the port. Okay, the general's waiting for us. Hey there, Leo. Another of the Empire's generals and that person I hired in town will be traveling with us. Could you mean... Ah, it's Celis. And Shadow's here too. Hey there, guys. The uh, lock? You okay? She's probably hurt that you didn't believe her back at the Magic Tech factory there, Locke. I'm not going to garrot you. Thank you. That makes me feel so much better there, Shadow. Bark, bark. Anyway, let's go to the inn and rest. I believe we'll be able to stay for the night for free. Ah, thank you. Okay there, Celis. Uh, she's mad at you for not believing her. <laughs> I 
I think she just needs some time there, Locke. Give her her space, man. Uh, that was a more instrumental version of Celis' theme. It's a pretty good theme. I like it. I should say it's an instrumental version of the opera theme, but technically it's Celis' theme. All's well. All right, so it's time to depart from Elbrook. Yep, let's be on our way. Not really sure where we're headed, but wherever we're going, we're on our way. All systems A-OK. -okay. Good. Okay, he wants us to stay clear of the engine room. Him too. So let's just talk to Leo. Right, your thoughts were ripped from you. People are people. Not all of us are like Kefka. He's a good man. An honorable one, too. Hey, that's not true. You're still a soldier, so you had to follow orders. I'm sure you'll love someone someday. But you have to meet them first. <laughs> Give it time. This is just one of those things you have to give time, Tara. Find it out for yourself. Oh, Shadow. Look within for answers. In this world are many like me who've killed their emotions. Don't forget that. That's pretty good advice there, Shadow. He's a bit of a strange one, but he seems cool. Lock. Uh oh. Has he gotten seasick? Oh dear. Yep. There he goes. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> Not a word of this to anyone else, oh shrouded one. <laughs> Poor Locke, he gets seasick, I guess. You 
think so. Rumor has it that the power of magic still exists on Crescent Island. Huh. Interesting. Silas and I will form one group. Terra, you go with Locke and Shadow. If you spot the Espers, report at once. You got it, General. I like how this one guy just keeps saying General Leo's holding a meeting. He's got nothing else to say. Bark. Oh, great. Now she wanted to talk to you and you don't want to have anything to do with her. These two have got to sort out their issues. Okay, so we made it to Crescent Island, and now we've got Shadow in our party. And we haven't had sh Shadow around since, God, since Sabin scenario. So we'll give him a Blossom, Mithril Shield, I guess a Bard's Hat. And we'll give him a Power Sash. Maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea to get him to start learning some magic. Oh yeah, he needs relics too. So we'll give him... Let's see. We'll give him running shoes. At least we beat that Chimera. I think there should be a town over this way. Yep, here it is. So, welcome to the town of Thamasa. I guess I kept that sprint ring on her and I forgot. Let's see what's at the shops. I think we could go ahead and buy an ice rod. Hawkeye. There is a reason for that. I'll buy two stout spears. I'll buy a thing of darts. Alright, now, armor wise, let's see. Alright, so we don't need gold helmets. I'll buy two Mystery Veils. I'll buy one more Power Sash. See, I'll give that Mystery Veil to Terra. 
And that gold armor is only slightly more stronger defense-wise. Otherwise, the Gaia armor trumps it. So Lock can keep his sneak ring for the time being, but I think a little bit later I might give him the Genji glove, which is why I bought a second Hawkeye. Buy a couple more warp stones. Two tents. That'll be good. Tell me what? You were gonna tell me something and then you changed your mind. Oh well. Got an eye drop. Got a soft. Nothing that I'd really want. Espers? What in blazes are they? If they're animals, talk to the old guy who lives on the edge of town. Okay. For some reason, the innkeeper doesn't like strangers. Really? Ugh. 1,500 gil to sleep at an inn. Highway robbery. I wouldn't rest here unless I was absolutely desperate. Got an echo screen. So this is the elder's house. Magic. What's magic? Seems slightly suspicious. Huh? Cure. Hi. <laughs> Where's my cure medicine? Okay, totally nothing suspicious about that. Now what? Wait, he's casting fire! People here know, definitely know about magic, but they don't want to talk about it for some reason. Very interesting. Well, fine, be that way. Don't let me in. Oh, hello there, old man. <laughs> An elderly, elderly gentleman, pure of heart and learned in the ways of monsters. This is Strago. Really? Never heard the word Esper before? Honestly, can't say I have. Right. So that's your granddaughter. Hey there, kid. In her pictures, she captures everything. Forest, water, light, the very essence of life. This is Strago's granddaughter, Realm. Can they use magic too? Hush! 
Get away. He bites. <laughs> Fussy old man. Hey, the dog actually likes her. Aw, he likes her. So, uh, anyway. The dog doesn't usually like people. Hmm. Interesting. I'm not so sure about that, Strago. Very interesting that Shadow's dog actually likes Realm for whatever reason. Uh, I think we can, if we talk to the innkeeper now that we've talked to Strago, he actually lets us stay here for one gill a night. <laughs> so yeah, now I'll stay here. <laughs> 